Capricorn, I'm going to see what's going on between you and this person who you feel so tied to. This is somebody who you could have communication with them, but it's like communication that doesn't lead to any understanding of what's going on. Or it could just be no communication between you and this person at all. Um, It can't possibly be for all Capricorns. You'll know if it's for you after the first spread where I will see y'all two's y'all two feelings towards each other <laughs> and then i'm going to see why they are not talking to you right now and then i'm going to see their most likely actions towards you over the next two weeks in the last spread so i get seven cards for capricorn and their person what is this hmm. You see them as the hermit. So you see them, of course, as not communicating with the hermit. The hermit is focused on themselves. So you see this a person is making a choice to stay distant from you, isolate themselves from you, and possibly from other people too. I'm not sure. You feel like this person has a secret life or is something that they're hiding from you. Or something they've always hidden from you. I feel like you don't know what to think about them. Like, you don't know what's true or not true when it comes to this person. If this is for you. I feel like you have a lot of negative thoughts and or fears as it relates to them. And I feel like it's because they lied to you in the past or you just feel like they had a lot. If this if that represents you, then how they see you as the three of wands. They see you as um focus on creating something. I feel like they think that you're waiting for them. There's three ones being here. They think you're waiting for them. Why is the three ones here? I think they see you as, as trying to focus on other things, right? I think they see you as somebody who is sh like <laughs> on purpose trying to look like you're focused on other things and maybe you are, but they feel like even if you're acting like you're not waiting on them, they feel like you are waiting for them. Like they have an attitude of like you're fronting if you're not communicating with them or if you're acting like you're not thinking about them because they feel like you are regardless of how you're showing up with this nine of pentacles being here um they can see you as focused on work or business or somebody um who knows how to make things happen for themselves as far as like financially the nine of pentacles they see you as somebody who's comfortable in your own skin with the nine of earth. They feel like you're being kind of cold. Acting kind of aloof. A dis and distant. Not showing them any emotion. Um, but like I said. Even with this owl. It's like reminding me of them. Feeling like regardless of what you show them. You're thinking about them. And you're waiting for them. That's how they feel. Their issue with you is that you won't express it like you won't express how you feel yeah so I'm gonna see exactly why this person is not speaking why is this person not communicating with Capricorn currently Moving on. 
at the bottom we had confront and reverse I got one more two of pentacles so I feel like this person finds it easier to go to new things as opposed to like they don't want to confront any type of heavy energy we just got this for Aquarius energy so you may be dealing with an Aquarius or maybe not but either way it's somebody who could have issues as it relates to childhood when it comes to uh which makes them pretty much not want to confront situations they rather run from situations than confront them like when they get heavy or when somebody find out that they're lying or doing something that they don't like they rather just leave than to try to fix situations with trust being at the bottom which is the full card um like starting new beginnings new journeys with new people but i don't feel like i feel like that's easy for them this is the major arcana that's not in reverse the other one is the moon and it's in reverse so it can represent them lying in the past or getting caught in a lie and they rather just walk away or try to move on than to confront and try to mend like a soulmate connection because the two of cups is here so it's like they they know it's the soulmate connection they just don't want to confront something or they don't want to come clean about something like they don't want to be honest about something so they rather just take a leap of faith into other things where they can be more lighthearted, um playful and maybe deal with people who are more foolish so they don't have to explain things or maybe it's just new people so there is no conflict between them and that person when when conflict comes up or things where they have to confront deep emotions they move on or that's the way they're showing up now in their life i don't know if they're going to be like that forever forever this is the reason why they are not speaking to you now but i want to see their most likely actions towards y'all over the next two weeks if this is for you ten of wands dropping burdens like um not wanting to take responsibility for things i feel like this could be a person who has burnt a lot of bridges or um made a lot of promises that they couldn't keep could be to you but i feel like it's other people too whether it's in love or not in love they could be the type of person who makes a lot of promises who they can't that they can't keep or don't keep or don't really try to keep What is this person's past, present, future actions towards Capricorn over the next two weeks? Keep in mind, energies can change. I'm pretty much just going to be telling you what's in their energy as far as actions towards you. They have free will, so they can feel all day that they want to come towards you, and then they don't. And this can't possibly be for all Capricorns. So what is this person's most likely past, present, and future actions towards Capricorn? over the next two weeks if you do want a personal reading the website is in the um description box to the ones again queen of wands seven of cups so this person i feel like with the seven of cups they feel like they're exploring their options right now. In the recent past, I feel like they were very cold and distant towards you. Um, they could have communicated with you, but they didn't express emotion. They weren't emotionally available in the past. Um, they could have been funny in the past or somebody who was good to conversate with. Okay. Right now, with this Ten of Wands energy, this is how they're showing up in your life. We was just talking about this, like, um, not wanting to adjust anything. Anything heavy, like, they're pretty much being very shallow right now. If this is for you. In the near future, well, over the next two weeks, if this is for you, they will be showing up as this queen of fire energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries or Leo. But um, I feel like this has been being very confident. 
um, wanting some sort of action. I'm going to clarify them. Because it's a court card, so... Um, let's see. Why is the Queen of Fire here? Yeah, I feel like they're going to be watching... with this queen of wands and ten of swords and page of swords i don't feel like this is about them taking much action towards you i think the queen of wands came out because a lot of y'all are probably dealing with fire signs aries leo sagittarius or um somebody who has a very strong presence and I also feel like if this person does come forward towards you with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like it's a start-stop energy with the Ten of Swords being right after it. I feel like they might come in for like um sexual, flirtatious type of interactions and then distance themselves and then watch you from afar. But I don't feel like this person is about like deep, going deep like emotionally if that's what you're looking for. Let me clarify to see if I'm if I got that right. Yeah, death, the hierophant. Mm -hmm. The hierophant to me that was there that represents somebody being stuck in their ways and then transformation. Um, this is the death card. So I feel like it's a situation that's out of your hands pretty much that you can't change. Just look at how that shit is like out of her hands. And it's like. I feel like this, this might be the type of person who blows with the wind. Like they're passionate about one thing one day and a whole other thing the next day. So what is Capricorn's advice? I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but I don't think it's been that long. Inner knowing. Goose, you are the brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident. You will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. Be blessed. Let yourself fly. So it's about trusting your intuition. Hold on. I'm going to see. If the Capricorn who resonated with this reading, if they were to... If their person... If the person comes back to... <laughs> If they were to and then call came up. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say. Um, if their person comes back to them. If they were to deal with this person. right? How would that play out for Capricorn? How would that affect Capricorn? Them dealing with this person again. Over the next two weeks. Five of Cups, regret. Clearly regret, and it came out. So I definitely feel like it's a person with the in and out type of energy. Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Their main focus in life, or right now in life, could be like money, so they don't get emotionally involved, or either they have other people involved. The Three of Pentacles is normally like more than two people trying to make a situation work, flow. But this came out as how it would affect you if you were to deal with them again. So this is sadness, regret. Yeah, that's all I can think of for this in this situation. So, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy or got something out of this message. Thanks for watching. Peace.